we'll be installing today is a three-quarter manifold onto existing three-quarter copper. The hot side's already on, and let me use this as an example of what to do. Um, what we've done here is we've taken a three-quarter PEX lead off the hot side of the hot water tank. These are all the hot devices, or the hot side of the devices being fed off of that. Each one has a port, half-inch port off the existing three-quarters. The great thing about this is, first of all, central point of uh, installation. You've got one port, one place where you're meeting all of the devices. These are great. You can also get these in plastic as well as copper. And some of the nice things about the plastic ones are they do have shutoffs on them if you want to have a shutoff here. In this case, I want to have a shutoff at each device so that if there's a problem, you can shut the device off and not the water to the entire house. Secondly, what we try to look at in these things is the fact that when you use a manifold, it's actual less fittings. Every time you tee into, let's say, an existing device to feed another device downstream from that, you're using typically three more clamps to cut that T in, one on each side and one going out to, out to the device. You also have a single point of failure for everything off that, and it should make sense. First device fails, and if you did have to shut it off, everything after that would be shut off on the water lead because you shut down the first device. Nice thing about this is you're not shutting it down. Secondly, we're looking at volume here. We're, we're fed on three quarters in each side of this. Going into another device where you're teeing off existing daisy chaining, I think what you're looking at is decreased volume. The pressure should remain the same. It's probably going to go down a little bit, but not noticeable. But when you're running, let's say, multiple devices in a home, washing machines, showers, dishwashers, you certainly want to have the volume to keep up with it. So I think this is the smartest way to do it. Put a manifold in. It keeps that volume there so that all the devices can perform. Now let's go to the installation on the other side, on the cold side, and we'll show you how one of these goes in. So back to the installation here. We've got a three-quarter manifold each side. It's going to be installed on the cold uh, side lead here in this house. And you can see each port off of it is a half inch. You can buy these in all different configurations, up to probably 24 ports. I've seen them in plastic, copper. You pay a little more for the copper. I like that product. It's a little better built, I think, than the plastic. Some of the plastic ones, though, do have shutoffs and everything on them if you wanted to have central point of shutoff at the manifold. In this case, most of these devices, we're going to have a shutoff at the device, whether it be at the, uh, at the uh, washing machine body or at a fixture every time. In case there is a break, you want to be able to shut it off. So let's go to the install of this. Okay, installation pretty straightforward. We're on the cold lead right here going in. We're just going to line it up to where we want it. I know where my first feed is. I know where the coupling is going to come on right about there. I'm just going to measure right to where we need it. And I am going to make a cut, clearing that one shut off right there. I know right where I want it. First cut right there. Put it out on one side, it'll show you where to make the cut for the other side of it. Bring it down, line your pecs up. Again, really straightforward. You can see right where you want to make your cut right here. And let's cut a little long because we know we've got some flex in this. And right there. We'll get some clamps and we'll get right to it. Okay, got the manifold, got two clamps. Slide your clamps on. Again, anybody who's comfortable working with PEX knows how this all works. Manifold goes back in. Both sides, I've got some flex here as I mentioned earlier. Goes in on both sides of it. You can see it. We're gonna line up. We're gonna crimp these two fittings and we are good to go. Right there. Okay, crimp on two fittings, extremely straightforward. We're going to take our crimping tool, first fitting, right there. Check it, make sure we're good. One. Check the second one, and we will be good to go. And second fitting, just needed to readjust that. And second fitting, want to make sure we got a straight connection. And as we last talked about, manifolds on, 
half inch leads going to each port. Here's the last lead going in. Again, anybody who's worked with PEX is going to know how straightforward this is. Fit the last lead on, line it up, and make your connection. Done. Manifold done.